right guys, welcome back to another video here on Washita Bassin. Uh, in today's video, I want to start by introducing my friend, my fishing partner, and the other half here on Washita Bassin, Mr. James Edmonds. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so glad to be finally doing this. We had a lot of thoughts over the last year uh, about how we wanted to do some things and if we even wanted to do it. So now we're finally pulling the trigger and I couldn't be happier. So I hope you guys like everything we're going to bring to you. Alright, so James and I have actually been fishing together for a little over a year now, but it feels like we've been friends for much longer. Um, our fishing styles tend to complement each other on the water, uh, which makes to be a somewhat successful fishing team. Last year we finished in the top five of our little league that we fish in here locally, uh, about 10 to 20 boats, uh, depending on where you're counting. At the beginning of the year, there was 20 to 25, and then towards the end, it was more like 10 to 15, so. And which for us, being our first year as tournament anglers, we were pretty proud of that finish. Mm -hmm. That being said, we're definitely looking forward to 2023. This season, we've already got nine that are on the schedule that we'll be fishing together. Uh, and James actually has some that he's fishing with the Arky division of the, uh, the BFL. So he's going to be a co-angler over there for his second year. He was able to do some things last year, but I'll let him speak a little more on that. Like Mark was saying, uh, this is actually my second year fishing the BFL. Last year, I was blessed enough to actually qualify to go to Grand Lake, Oklahoma and fish the regionals and have a chance uh, at the All-American and, you know, two boats in between the regionals and the All-American. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it was a real tough day out there and didn't actually get to make it to All-American. So I'm going to give another another stab at it this year. I'm kind of more seated in what I, what I know what I need to do uh, and kind of step off the power fishing a little bit and pick up that finesse game uh, just a little bit more and hopefully have another shot at regionals and maybe even make it to the elusive All-American. So y'all guys stay tuned. We got a lot of stuff coming up in this 2023 season. Yeah, and the, the club that we're actually gonna fish is the Aluminum Outlaw uh, Bass Club. Shout out to them, great club. A Lot of hammers over there, a lot of hammers. Oh maybe y'all just seen Curtis Priest crack a 10-6 or whatever it was out of Hamilton. 10-6-4 on Lake Hamilton. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. So, okay, now let's get to it. So today's video is a two-part video where in part one I actually drop Mark off on the bank so that way he can go duck hunting that morning while I go out and explore some new water in his boat, get a little bit more familiar with his boat on my own. Uh, later on we reconnect back up and go out and just hammer on them. And the other part of the video is actually I went out on my new flat bottom. I wouldn't say new, new to me, uh, flat bottom. And just wanted to see if it floated. I really wanted to get out on the water and I knew there was fish back in that same pocket too. Uh, so I just ended up going out and trying to have the best time I could have. And at the end of both of them, it seemed like we couldn't avoid catastrophic failure no matter how hard we tried. So. Uh, yeah. And Lord knows we tried. Yeah, Lord, Lord knows we tried. <laughs> I, was, I was glued onto my Navionics the whole time, making sure that we were in the, in the channel when we were riding, because the lake we went to is, is one of those lakes where it'll go from 20, 25, 30 foot to inches of water. <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah we, were, we were trying to avoid it at all costs. And uh, it, right at the end of both days, it, it somehow chaos found us. Also guys, at the end of this video, we're going to break down a little bit more about exactly what happened and we're going to go over in detail the baits that we used and how we were retrieving them on these days. Alright, let's go catch some fish. It's early, baby. Huh? I said it's early. This is too neat to me, guys. Mark's a couple bins around. Hunting ducks, I'm watching him fly in. He's back there busting at him, just tearing him up. <clears throat> I hope he's just back there just tearing him up. You know, and I'm hearing gunshots going off everywhere. And to be honest, I've heard more shots come from his area. There he goes again. Get him, bud, get him. I mean, I, I'm getting excited. I'm not, even, I'm not even hunting, you know? And I don't hunt, but I mean, it's something I'd consider. So anyways, back to about the fishing. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be a real good day. It's cold front moving in. The water temp went back up. It was like 49 and last time I was here. But it was 49, got up to like 51. And whenever I got here, it was already like 53 and a half. The current looks to be moving pretty decently. This spot just looked too good for me to not try. So I figured I'd stop here for a second. And See if I can't get get a bite or two. Perfect weather for 
for them to be biting good, in my opinion. So I know we're supposed to get another storm later on. So depending on how much rain that dumps, will probably depend on how good of a flow we actually get. All right, on to the next one. Seeing enough, enough out here on 2D in the channel that uh, open this little ledge to this pocket might be holding some fish. I'm just trying to check everywhere real thorough today. There's a fish. That's a that's a good one. And this is why you check everywhere real thorough. Oh, he ain't that big, but he ain't small, but he ain't big. Oh man, guys, do I got a sight for you? Look off down in there. See that tail? I guarantee you that's a big gizzard shed. Got him on the outside of the mouth. Just gonna back out here a little bit. God, look, he's been eating so good. I mean, by the size of that tail, that tail's inch and a half, probably two inches wide spread out. So I gotta assume that that's a five, six inch shad. Two, 13. Not a bad fish. I love throwing this slipless because it's just so versatile. Just reel it in a straight line. You can grind it on the bottom, similar to a crankbait. You know, but unlike a crankbait, you can work it off the bottom. Right up at the top, you can yo-yo it. You know, that's how I caught that last one was yo-yoing it. <clears throat> and that's how it seems I catch my bigger fish is on the yo-yo retrieve rather than burning and stopping. Oh wow, look at that crappie. Oh. <laughs> well, Mark, got some din din. I don't know how much Mark likes his crappie. Since he's the one that edits videos, I don't want to make him mad. <laughs> Seems like every time I come out here, I catch a good size crappie. Hey guys, I'm telling you, this right here, if you want to just go hunt some monster crappie, this thing right here will do it. It's going to be a good day, guys. Good day. God bless. Shh. I guess it's crappie day. I don't know. Shoulders. Shoulders beefy. Beefy shoulders. Well, here's your buddy. I'll get y'all some more. Glad I kept the first one. He'd have been mad if I... <laughs> hey, I'll take it. I'm taking anything today, guys. If anything's making me happy. If anything pulls on the other end of that line... It is gonna make my heart just squeal like a tire or a two stroke, one or two. One, two, three. Have you had In the rain. On purpose. Because we've got a burning desire. We've got an itch that needs to be scratched. We both know that honestly, that today, a day like today, oh, yeah. is a day you'll catch a freaking oh, yeah. a hammer of, you know, hammer and a half. All right, this is how you 
and get them on. All right. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, third, that's going to be a landing <laughs> violation. Here we go, guys. Yeah, he's a little better. Stubby looking guy. Oh. How did you, how did he hit it? Oh, he, uh, I think he hit it on the pause, but he hammered it pretty good. I knew he was there. Not another two pounds. Oh, eater. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Grocery bag. Like Little guy. Beautiful bass. Beautiful looking guy. Ooh. Take it easy. Been eating. Mm -hmm. Oh, and in that uh Aww. yeah, Mark's back here trying to feed his family and I'm sitting here just tossing fish back. I really been fishing a lot by myself. I'm Mr. Lonely. There we go. Not lonely no more. There we go. Grocery bag. There's one. He feels a little better. Nah. Oh, I mean, he ain't bad. He ain't bad. He ain't bad. He about a pound and a half. As soon as he went up on plane, I just yeah. got him in quick. Huh? <laughs> About a pound and a half. Not bad. <sighs> it's been a while since I've had a good bag of fish to right. to clean, dude. Yeah. Yeah, really I've been bad. catching just a, know, I've been catching either small ones or just Ooh, not at all. Hey, look at the middle of the channel to the right. God bless. They want another bite. Woo! Ah, oh, I pulled out. We both got bit too. <laughs> nice. Just a fighter. It's a newer one. It's, it's called the burner. 
Look, got the trailer hook. Turn it. There we go. A little better. About the same. Oh, okay. fell out. There we go. He wanted it up on top. Get up at the very top of the water column. God dang. God bless. Here it goes, guys. I feel that's definitely better. That's definitely better. Open is what it is. I'm sitting here dragging a paper sack with his mouth open like that, guys. There we go. There's another one. That's, that's better. That one got the main hook. There we go. That might be decent. No, I think he's just got his mouth open again. Yeah, little little guy. I mean, they are just pinned with their mouth up. Oh, hey, well, he grew a little bit. <laughs> he gained about a half pound on the boat flip. That's how you want to see him eat it, folks. I mean, just look. I mean, just. Woo! I said, I don't know how much battery I got left, but I can't think of a better use of it than this right here. There we go. That's better. That's better for sure. Uh, he might be about the same daggum size. Boy, they just fighting good today, ain't they, bub? <laughs> there we go. T tiny, tiny little guy. Is that even a bass? Look at that. Ooh, <laughs> there we go. Get away from Mark's line. That's one. He came back for it, bro. No, he feels good. No, he's a little guy. Hey, you got the lift the spring bait and the spinner bait for our arsenal next year. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. Oh. <laughs> it's a decent one. <laughs> Nice. I mean, is that calling your shot? <laughs> I need that out of the tree. 
A lot. We got a lot last time too. We got five last time. We got more than five this time. Heck yeah, buddy. I saw the flip of the lipless. Yeah, you seen that flip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was smooth. I was ex I was like, dude, this will be the one too. Because I've never casted it under there like that. Right, yeah, that was nice, bro. Is that the first time you've ever flipped a lipless at a piece of structure? Uh, I was flipping it earlier a little bit. Not like finesse like that. Yeah. First time I've like done it and it been smooth like Last that. Here we, here we go. Doubles. Yes, sir. I'm just gonna ski this guy in. Oh, mine picked up a hitchhiker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mine's bigger. <laughs> yeah. Spinner baits catch the bigs. <laughs> oh shoot. We get to the point that we can be shaky. We good? Yeah, we be a little picky. Yeah. Alright guys, change the scene, doing the same thing. That's a little Kentucky. There's one. A little better. That's a nice one right there. I think so. Yeah, yeah two man limit. It looks like we can't escape having some type of tragedy here. So, uh, hit the hit the prop and it's not pumping the water. So, I guess this is us calling it a day. He's coming. Well, guys, we got a guy that's uh, kind enough to give us a ride back to the ramp. So, at least we're rescued. There's old Mark. So, we're off the water. I don't know what the deal is. We'll be back though. Oh yeah. We'll be back. All right. So as you just saw, we had a pretty decent, if not one of the better days uh, out on the water. And um, we would have had a little bit more footage of that day, but what actually happened is we decided to make one last run uh, up the lake, up towards the river. And um, 
I came down off a plane just so perfectly onto a, a, a rock bed or something that was solid and shallow and that was it. It, it brought our day to an abrupt end. Uh, blew the entire lower, lower unit out. Uh, initially I didn't think it was going to be that bad. But uh, I ended up bringing it to a shop, and that was what he told me was, yeah, your lower unit is toast. And luckily for us, on that on this particular day, there was one other person that was just crazy enough to be on the lake, <laughs> that was fishing in and out of the rain all day, uh, and we were able to troll her over close enough to him, uh, flag him down, and hit the whistle a few times, and was <laughs> hollering at him and doing anything and everything uh, that we could to get his attention. And by the grace of God, he saw us, Man. came around, and was able to give us a ride back to the boat launch. So I swear, you, I thought he was going to fire up and just drive off the other way and yeah. leave us sitting out there. Yeah, and he did fire up and kind of like went the opposite <laughs> direction and turned back towards us. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if if he's actually watching this, uh, thanks, man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you are an angel. Uh, you were definitely our 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 savior that day. Um, otherwise, we would have been on the water for a good while, or we actually could probably could have made it to a boat launch. We could, yeah, close enough and walked to our truck. But right. Goodness it gracious, been... it was storming or it was starting to to rain again. Yeah, that wouldn't have been fun. So again, if you're watching this, thank thanks. you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Way to the spot. Gotta go all the way over there. It's a little windy out here, you can't tell. But, um, oh, there's a bite. Yep, that's a fish. And, uh, yeah. Let's see what the first one is today. Doesn't feel big. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, he just waited until he got by the boat. Uh, he's got it on the outside of his friggin' head. He got a hook in the mouth and probably got a hook in the head later, but you good sign. Just yo-yoing on this rock wall. 14 foot of water. We got one on go. Can't tell if he's big or if I got him snagged. I threw in there and he was just on. He don't look bad. Drinks. Up the drinks. Oh. Well, hey, there you go. There's your little show. Anyway, he's a little better bass. He's uh getting up on two pounds. Hey, yeah, I guess I'm gonna come off my little secret. Alright, if you made it this far in the video, you deserve it. You're probably gonna watch the rest of it. This is a uh, Lucky Craft LV150 in MS American Shad. And while it was dry as a bone, I took a garlic highlighter and put chartreuse down the side. But it's not like they're just on fire just yet, but uh, must be a little guy. I snagged or something, yeah. No fight in him. He had no fight. Oh my god. I, this is, you can't make this up. Uh, they got sharp gills. Literally, literally next cast. God bless. Crazy guy. Crazy guy. Well. I'd say the fish are still here. And they really like that yo-yo today. Got some grass on there. Oh, oh, God bless. That one liked it when I burned it. Huh. Alright. Figuring stuff out. I don't know what we're figuring out, but we're figuring it out. Literally... As soon as I shut it off. That's a pretty bass. Pretty little guy. I'm just really trying to kind of throw over it. 
you gotta know what you're doing though to get that bait through there without just getting it hung up every daggum time. T-boned again. You know they're eating it good when you gotta get the pliers out every time. cookie cutter guy went back to this other pocket and I didn't even get a bite <laughs> so but uh been a little while settle down bud settle down bud the old Alabama rig boy if that fish ain't cold so anyways, in the other half of the video, I'm actually going out on my flat bottom uh, just to have a good time, see if it floats and everything. And I went to this same cut that me and Mark were fishing, and I knew how many fish were there. And I was just starting to get on the same exact pattern pretty much. Uh, and, and was still, the big ones were eluding me, so I wanted to ju just go push up into the river somewhere. You know, I actually uh, loaded the boat back up and trailered all the way up into the river, or by the river, and launched out from there and got back in the river caught some more fish nothing crazy never got on any big ones one of them deals where you make the decision to go somewhere and it doesn't end up paying out but uh, be that as it may I ended up trying to troll back to the trailer and uh, at the boat ramp and it started sticking on me here and there uh, I even tried to change out had a second battery on the boat tried to change out for that uh, the rain started picking up and I mean it just it was just one thing after another and then finally that trolling motor just I guess it just we'd already had it cleaned once and thought it was running good and it did for quite a while um, but it just it just happened to be one of them deals where you know you never know until you find out and I found out uh, this day <laughs> and so I actually ended up sitting on the bank for about four hours after fishing for nine uh, in the pouring rain, just, I mean, constant, steady rain, uh, and in the dark there at the end, which was a little, uh, weird experience. Luckily, I had a spotlight, and, uh, Mark came out there and rescued me, and... So, on both days, we kind of went into a survival mode and was just, really just focused on getting out of there in both, in both cases, but we really want to try to document as much as possible, the good, the bad. Mm -hmm. We've got things that are coming in the works right now, uh, things that are going to allow us to, to film more and throughout the entire day to be able to, you know, kind of set it and forget it type of recording. Um, so y'all definitely stick with us on that and thank you for being uh, so patient <laughs> and understanding as we're, you know, a small YouTube channel that's yeah. just trying to get up and going and, you know, hopefully you'll see that effort. All right, guys, so uh, we caught them basically on two baits alone. We didn't really even have to pick up anything else. So the bait that I was actually throwing this day is a half ounce. Uh, this is a Lucky Craft LV-150. This is in the MS American Shad, and I really, really like this lure. It's great for in that zero to five depth range. Um, you know, you can burn it and stop it. You can yo-yo it. You can just sit there, cast it out, uh, reel it back to you at whatever speed <clears throat> is working for you. On this particular day, and I had, we had came out here and did this a few different times under a few different conditions uh, in, a, in a couple different places of the lake and we're getting the same results over and over again uh, and so what I was doing was I was casting this out 7.5 to 1 gear ratio I was actually hammering that reel pretty hard burning uh, it but I mean burning it and then just dead stopping it and whenever I would stop it they would light up on this thing like it was Christmas Eve I'm telling you this is a bait that I have gained a lot of confidence in this year. Uh, it's a little bit on the pricier side. It's about $17. So it's maybe not something that you want to pick up at first to give this a try. So Mark has a budget friendly option. That is the Bill Lewis Rattle Trap. And this is what I was throwing them on pretty much all day. It's, it's a very similar design, but it's different. Does yours have a blue back on it too? So yeah, the main theme in this was that they were both a blue back chrome bait now mine has these scales on here you can see it has some different colors in there just a lot of shine 
but it still has a natural look to it. Even on this particular day, I could not tell. We, we, we probably caught him about one to one. It was about honestly. one to one. So yeah, there were times where he would catch them and I wouldn't catch them on this on this Bill Lewis. But then there would be times where I'd catch two or three and he wouldn't catch any in that in that area for whatever reason. All right, guys. So I didn't actually have this bait with me. This is a Strike King burner spinner bait right here. It's uh, got a different designed head uh, that actually has more of a point to it. Helps it stay real keeled. A lot of the bulk of the weight is down here at the bottom. And this just allows you to be able to, I mean, absolutely reel this thing as fast as your heart desires. I was throwing this with a trailer hook on it. Uh, one or two aught, I couldn't, it, it was probably a two aught. I think I was throwing the larger trailer. And the way that I was retrieving this bait was I was throwing it out. Um, and as soon as the bait would hit the water, I'd, I'd actually stop my reel and engage it before it hit the water. And as soon as it hit the water, I would I would literally start reeling and and just give it a, you know two twitches and sometimes they they'd hammer it on that first one, uh, but I'd just continue to do that same retrieve just up at the top of the water column. I wanted to keep my eyes on the bait the entire time. All right, guys. So we plan on doing at least one video a month. Uh, I'm gonna work on trying to edit some uh, smaller videos, maybe some tip videos, just on the side to feather in with those other videos. But on top of that, we got a lot of other content coming to you uh, on YouTube Shorts. Uh, Instagram and Facebook Reels. Make sure you go follow us over on Instagram at Washtaw Bassin and then my personal account at James Edmonds Fishing. The cool thing about those platforms is it gives you guys an opportunity to connect with us on a different way. So, yeah. you know, definitely don't be scared to, you know, we We'd you love should, to talk. To I you. follow back just yeah. about everybody that follows me. Yeah. I appreciate everybody that uh, that supports the channel and supports the vision, really. Yeah. So, um, definitely don't be scared to reach out to us. Drop a line. We'd love to hear from you guys. All right. So, thanks for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, go ahead and smash that like button and if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. That way you can stay up to date on all the adventures that are coming in 2023. Y'all be good.